As you know, I will be retiring as president of the Aga Khan University in mid-September. The 15 years I served as president have been by far the most rewarding of my career. Over a decade and a half, I've had the privilege of working alongside an extraordinarily talented team of leaders. Every day, I knew that my colleagues and I were improving people's lives in tangible ways. And every day, I learned something new from our scholars, researchers, and practitioners. From the moment I took office, I felt honored and inspired to have been entrusted with working to fulfill the vision of our Chancellor, His Highness the Aga Khan. To make AKU, and I quote, on the frontiers of scientific and humanistic knowledge, radiating intelligence and confidence, research and graduates, into flourishing economies and progressive legal and political systems. Today, I am filled with gratitude to all those who strived along with me. I'm grateful to our faculty members for their enthusiastic pursuit of excellence in teaching and learning. To our researchers for proving again and again that the developing world can contribute cutting-edge solutions to the biggest global problems. To our healthcare and other professionals for their courage in the most difficult circumstances and for their commitment to delivering world-class care and services. I am also deeply grateful to our donors. Your generosity is the fuel that empowers AKU's ascent. All of us have much to be proud of. The university's growth and impact over the last 15 years have been truly formidable. We graduated more than 10,000 students and AKU alumni are addressing major challenges in health and education at world-renowned institutions, winning prestigious awards and leading change at home and abroad. We launched an array of new academic and research programs and facilities. The Graduate School of Media and Communications is working to build an ethical and innovative media sector in East Africa in partnership with Harvard University's Kennedy School and other institutions. At the Center for Innovation in Medical Education, doctors and nurses are honing their skills using virtual reality simulators you won't find anywhere else in Pakistan or East Africa. The Center for Regenerative Medicine and Stem Cell Research recently won a $1 million grant to develop a potential cure for several inherited blood disorders. This adds to the $10 million from private donors for this center. Our new cancer center in Nairobi will bring hope to cancer patients through its clinical trials, while our Brain and Mind Institute will address the mental health needs of populations in lower and middle income countries. In London, the Institute for the Study of Muslim Civilizations now offers a dual master's degree with Columbia University in New York. Earlier this year, we inaugurated AKU's soaring university center in Nairobi. It prompted the president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, to remark, and I quote, the Aga Khan has become synonymous with elevating educational standards. End of quote. This is true not only locally, but globally. In recent years, AKU has been ranked among the world's top 100 universities in clinical medicine and public health. These and other new initiatives will soon be joined by AKU's Faculty of Arts and Sciences, which will open in our new university center in Karachi in 2023. It will prepare students for leadership with a multidisciplinary education unlike any other in the region. The development of the AKU health system has been no less impressive. Last year, we provided over $22 million in patient welfare, enabling thousands of low-income individuals 
to obtain surgeries and other vital care at our hospitals. That is five times the assistance we provided 15 years ago. Overall, the number of patients we treat in a typical year has more than doubled since 2006 to over 2 million. With the support of our donors, we built and renovated more than a dozen hospital facilities, from adding intensive care in Karachi to operating the Heart and Cancer Center in Nairobi to launching obstetrical services in Kabul, we have been busy. And along the way, we built a nationwide network of laboratory and patient care facilities in Pakistan and in Kenya. Still to come is a new Aga Khan University Hospital in Kampala and a new children's specialty hospital in Nairobi. Alongside this growth has come demonstrable advances in the quality of care. Our hospitals have repeatedly been first in the countries to achieve international accreditation. And then came the pandemic. It has been and remains a challenge unlike any other we have faced. But AKU continues to meet the challenge with determination and innovation. Indeed, I believe that this has been the university's finest hour. All this and much more is your legacy. AKU will soon welcome the third president in its history, Suleiman Shahbuddin. He is a proven leader whose tenure as CEO of the Aga Khan Health Services in East Africa has been marked by tremendous growth and quality improvement. And he knows AKU well, having spent the first 15 years of his career at the university and having worked closely with our deans to launch multiple academic programs. With his extensive experience in Pakistan and East Africa, his success as a healthcare leader and his knowledge of AKU, Suleiman is well positioned to continue to move the university ever closer to achieving our Chancellor's vision. As my tenure draws to a close, I am deeply gratified by AKU's achievements over the last 15 years. But more importantly, I am excited for its future. The university's foundations have never been stronger, its people more accomplished, or its supporters and partners more committed. In the words of His Highness, it has, and I quote, caught the imagination of the world. I'm confident that the next chapter in AKU's history will be even more remarkable than the one now concluding. Thank you.